All right, so we just got back from the cinema, and Indeed. we saw the Indeed. Super Mario Brothers movie. Yeah, in a packed house. Going into the Mario movie, watched all the trailers. I know all the references. So the excitement. <laughs> every <laughs> single Every little one. nod they had in the trailer. I was hyped. I mean, been a lifelong Mario fan. So I knew it wasn't going to be great story-wise, but visually from the trailer, you know, the Mario Kart Rainbow Road reference in there, all the little power-up references. I was sold. So going in, pretty hyped. End result, better than I expected. I was, did you did you uh, know who Spike is? Yeah, I was wondering what kind of reference he was. <laughs> Lifelong <laughs> Mario fan, you lying <laughs> bastard. Okay, I don't. <laughs> <all of them. laughs> that's from that's from Wrecking Crew. You runt. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Sam, what, what were runs. you thinking about the Mario movie? I mean, yeah, I'll say definitely exceeded my expectations. I wasn't I wasn't sky high with them. You know, it's a it's a video game movie. You know, you always got to be kind of kind of wary with what you're getting into. Um, but yeah, with the trailers, it looked fun, looked good. A lot of fun references for sure but yeah i'd say it was at least above my expectations yeah, well i mean i think i think the main one here that i want to hear is is justin justin you're you're, you're always kind of like out of this bubble a little bit like you'll, you'll <laughs> peek in you'll peek in every now and then but but you're you're kind of out of the the nintendo sphere bubble yeah. um out of everybody and uh you were the only one that went to this movie under the influence <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean yeah the movie was the movie was cool man the movie was, the movie was fun. Were you surprised it was animated, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm... Okay, yeah. So, so I don't know. For some reason, before, like, while we... Like, on the way there, and then, like, when we sat down, I just... I assumed that it was just going to be, like, live action. Just Chris Pratt and Mario hat. I was expecting time. Chris Pratt to show up in, in the Mario... Sure. And then, like, you, I, were, you were out of it. I was just out of it. Like, I've seen you some trailers. done. <laughs> It, if you would have asked me like the day before, I would have known it was anima animated. I just, I just wasn't ready for it. So, so like when it when it started, I was just. How did you think Bowser uh, was gonna work? <laughs> I don't How know. How do you think man? Toads were gonna work? <laughs> did you see anything about the movie prior? Yeah. Trailers, Twitter stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I saw a little bit of a trailer beforehand. I was just really out of it. At the oh moment. my! But, but, but like quickly, I sat back in, sure. and yeah, uh, I remember the movie. I retained it all, of course. <laughs> I've been kind of following this movie ever since it was even kind of like slightly rumored. I remember back in um, like 2014. Uh, do you guys remember like when Sony was hacked? Because of like that movie, the interview. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah. like all these emails leaked. Like apparently, like they were in talks with Sony to do like a Mario wow. movie. Wow. And yes. uh, and people were already kind of like, man, that's gonna suck <laughs> because yeah. at the time, Sony Sony Pictures Animation was was pretty pretty lame. Like oh. all all they were known for is like open season. <laughs> that was it. That's a bad thing. Um. Yeah, but but now like they're kind of like higher up because they do like Spider Verse and and and. Sure all that but then like a couple years later it was then announced that uh nintendo was partnering with illumination the the minions also fellas. a red flag I'd say. yeah it was pretty much like they, yeah. they were either gonna pick like one of the two worst yeah. uh, worst potential candidates at the time <laughs> this kind of all came because they were doing all that stuff with uh you know opening up uh, super nintendo world at universal and all that like, it's obvious nintendo is really trying to like push their brand in ways that they really hadn't before because uh, they're really hesitant with movies with uh, the original Super Mario Brothers movie which I saw that uh, a couple days ago oh yeah I, I saw the first four minutes one. yeah <laughs> That's pretty silly. It's, it's just kind of quirky. I've know? tried to see it twice, but fell asleep halfway through both times. I don't think it's, it's like it's pretty awful. I, I don't think it's like egregious as a movie. It's not good, but like as a Mario movie, I think the main problem is since it's live action, they were trying to make sense of everything in a live yeah. action sense, and that's kind of like these video game movies just feel really weird, and they also kind of like lose a bit in terms of like that that fan servicey feel. Uh, where it, it loses a bit of their identity. Because, uh, like, you look at the Sonic movie, which, Jeff, you despise. You, <laughs> you exaggerate how much I dislike it. <laughs> I'm just not a huge fan of those half-and-half half animated, half-live-action, because it just leads to this jarring feel with terrible acting. Well, I think that's part of the thing, right? Where it's like you're putting the video game thing in the real-world thing. Where I like, hate it. Like the Tom and Jerry a... movie or like Garfield. It's just like <laughs> those ones where all you can tell the characters aren't talking to anyone because they have to animate it later. Yeah. It just leads to a crappy movie. Well, it always it always felt weird with Sonic. It, it, it felt like they just wanted to make Garfield but with Sonic, you know? <laughs> yeah. Or, way, or yeah. like Yogi way. Bear but with Sonic. <laughs> it's always Garfield just what it felt. Garfield. Yeah. <laughs> Yogi Bear is a stretch. You had it with Garfield. Yeah. But it's like... I felt like the Sonic movie ended up working okay. Uh, I, I felt like it, it worked and flowed as a movie 
fairly okay. Yeah, it I think was the movie. A, it's fine. Yeah, yeah it, it's a movie I don't really need to rewatch. It, it, it felt like it was trying to mold Sonic into the movie it was in, whereas the Super Mario Brothers movie feels like it's just Mario. It feels like it doesn't like, really care, which I kind of like. Yeah, this is just basically as Mario as you can get. <laughs> I liked how they didn't give many, like, real-world uh, reasonings for stuff in the Mario movie. Like, the power-up box is the box. The Chain Chomp is the Chain Chomp. The Bullet Bill is the Bullet Bill. They didn't do any, like, you know, subtle stuff. I like how it was just straight up, like... And in the movie, it was formatted in a video game form. Beat Donkey Kong in this challenge. Beat this yeah. stage. Like, uh, it was really faithful. Yeah, the Sonic movie, they, they had to... Whatever tone thing, kind of. They had to make sense of it as, like, Sonic's an alien. You know? <laughs> yeah, he's in the real world. What would happen if Sonic came to the real world? So. Yeah. One of the first major things we heard about this movie was, like, when the voice cast was revealed. Um, <laughs> All-star cast. Which, yeah. Classic I mean, meme. <laughs> I thought it was a joke. I thought it was a joke, honestly. Yeah, why. Uh, when you first hear it, it's when absolutely I first saw, like, the pictures of, like, Seth Rogen and Donkey Kong next to each other, yeah. I thought it was, like, I thought, okay, that's funny. Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah. The way that reveals what the voice, like... Because all those Nintendo videos, they have to have some English actor do the voices for the <laughs> Japanese. And the way they have, like, Keegan-Michael Key come up as Toad in some cringy <laughs> narration. And Jack Black, Seth Rogen. Uh, that that video is classic. Going. It just kept going. Yeah. <laughs> it just kept listing names. Yeah. But, like, at the time, the only major one that, that felt to me like it wasn't going to... Like, I didn't understand was, was the Chris Pratt as Mario. Everything else I could kind of like, I, I, I kind of understood to some extent. Yeah, you always think because you see Chris Pratt and he never does accents in movies. He just keeps it straight up. So Trump's everyone's wondering Chris like, Pratt, yeah. I, like, how is he going to do the Italian thing? And I kind of like how right off the bat in the movie, they have this fake commercial where they have the Italian accents and you can, they really hammer. They just say, Italian yo, we're accent. not doing that. He's going to have a normal Chris <laughs> Pratt voice. But it's a little nod, and plus Mario does his little classic sayings throughout the movie. And I think the way they kind of like eased you into Chris Pratt's voice was really smart. I think the way they did it, you know, like him doing the the, the fake little accent at the beginning of the movie uh, in that commercial, he's like, ah, oh, you know, like he's putting on a character, and then it cuts to them watching the commercial, and then him him speaking in his real voice, and he's like, hey, yeah. do you think the accent's a little too much? <laughs> and I think that really helped to just kind of like really ground you in like, all right, this is Mario's just real voice yeah. in this movie. I think they actually did a really good job with that. But uh, one thing that I thought uh, throughout all the trailers, I, I felt like none of the celebrity voices as okay as some of them were. It always just kind of felt like with the trailers that, oh, this isn't really coming out of this character's mouth. This almost feels like dubbing or something. That's probably just two things. One, trailers are always cut weird. Like, like they just cut out lines. They, they mix things all together and they just try to make their own little Frankenstein of a, of a video project. But two, like, uh, you know, we've never really seen a lot of these characters with actual voices. I think in the movie it worked fine. I think yeah. once you kind of get used to it, it's fine. Yeah, I think... you kind of jarring to hear like, oh, what the hell, that's Charlie Day speaking. But then after a while, yeah. you're kind of like, oh, yeah, it's just what Luigi sounds like. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, after, like, it, it, it really just, like, it doesn't take any time at all to just kind of, like you get used to it that's the issue when you cast like super familiar voices yeah. like you have that you associate with them with whoever they're playing before, disconnect like. of like oh i've seen jack black in 10 movies you expect one thing but like honestly every voice really worked we talked about it after the movie the only one if you've seen it you might agree is cranky kong is that his name yeah cranky kong was not perfect like I believe the voice actor was like fred armison yeah, who i'm not familiar with i knew i recognized it yeah but it's like man <laughs> What the hell was that? It needed older, funnier... <laughs> yeah, it didn't quite fit like, the character. Yeah. The voice is fine, it just didn't quite fit the character, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, like, even if you didn't know who Cranky Kong was... Justin, do you know who Cranky Kong is? Nope. All right, so... <laughs> What did you think of that guy's voice? I thought I thought it was all right. You're, that was the, was that was that the older monkey? Old monkey with the yeah. yeah. I thought it was all right. I thought he was just a kooky old man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, don't you feel like he should have been a little crankier a little like, for somebody more... named Cranky Kong? A little more like crust in that thing. I thought he was pretty crusty. Mm -hmm. You need a little more crust in that. No, I thought he, I thought he was, he was a young a crust. More. I agree with you guys that it was a young crust, but it was <laughs> lived up to the hype. I don't know. Lived up to the hype. I I don't know. It was really I, I expected think... from a, an old talking monkey. I, I probably expect him to sound a little older, a little yeah. crankier, a little yeah. more kind of like <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I just I mimic his voice. I mean, How, like in the games, want? he's kind of like <laughs> ah, whatever, just kind of like an old an old man like j yammering, you know. Just kind of like imagine a stereotypical old man voice, but okay. but a little like higher pitched and like not as like oh, 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 you know like something like that. Okay. It was just yeah. combined with him not being that funny either. 
<laughs> kind of made him like probably the worst character to be honest <laughs> got him just got him, got <laughs> him from, from the movie cut him. no no not even cut him gut him dude yeah yeah it's a gut not a cut <laughs> That, that's when a character shouldn't even that's be bad, cut. Yeah. Just like, yeah, just kill him off, that's man. That's bad. The, the voice cast was revealed, and I didn't really know what to think of about this movie. And we finally got, like, our first trailer, like, a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. And I always thought the visuals looked great. Oh, yeah, I, I think it went to agreement on that. Yeah, I think this movie visually looks exactly how I'd want a mario movie to look like it's really hard for me to really think like how this movie could look better i i don't think it was like mind-blowing but it's kind of like it's exactly what it needed to look like Like, yeah it's it struck this good balance i was thinking the whole time it's like it's all cartoony but they look like they're made out of like real materials it's like like when you see the giant power block come up it's it looks really good but it's Mm -hmm. also cartoony they're not going for a realistic look but then, like, you have the water that looks realistic. The water great, yeah. Yeah, like, the water in this movie is, like, top five the animated water. Like yeah, it looks yeah. fantastic. It was a good balance of, like, realistic, but also, like, visually crazy good looking. I will say, the characters that weren't from a Mario game, um, they did pretty much just look like a regular, like, Illumination movie. Yeah, like the humans, yeah. the yeah, Mario's like the, family, yeah. Yeah, so, like, at the beginning, Mario and Luigi do a plumbing job where, like, uh, the, this, this couple has, like, a dog. And the dog looks like it's from, like, whatever, Secret, Secret Life of Pets. Pets. Yeah. Yeah. The humans look like they're just from any just other. Me. Yeah. yeah, so it's just, um, they might have, like, a little bit of Mario-isms in them. But uh, overall, mm-hmm. like, and, like, it wasn't that bad. Like, it, it wasn't even bad. It's just they're something that I'm long. noticing. Yeah, yeah they're, they're pretty much, like, the only, <laughs> like, characters that aren't from yeah. a Mario Everything game. Everything in, like, the Mushroom Kingdom and all the other world looks fine. Looks yeah, good. which, uh, speaking of which, uh, this movie just doesn't, it doesn't f*** around. It just goes immediately into that thing. Yeah. Like, like within the first, I'm pretty sure less than 10 minutes, oh, I think Mario's so. already in the Mushroom yeah. Kingdom. They do, like, the one job at the one people's house, then they pretty much just go straight in the pipe. That leads them to the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, so, I, 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 this movie is incredibly fast-paced. I think like, that's one of the biggest compliments I could give it. Like, typically, I hate super fast-paced movies, but, like, they know what people like. They, they know we want to see the characters. You know, we want to see the certain plot elements. Bang, bang, boom. It's like, characters introduced, he's part of the gang. Characters introduced, part of the gang. Like, I really like that. It, it felt quick, but it wasn't, like, too quick. Yeah, it's just over an hour and a half. One minute, hour yeah. 32. Yeah. So, I agree, but I also think that stops it from being, like, a better, like, regular movie. Like, like it's something where it makes it an awesome Mario movie. It just gets you to where you want to go. Because the Sonic movie, like, always felt like... Like, they give you these little crumbs of stuff you wanted to see. Like, at the very beginning, you see, like, Green Hill Zone. And you're like, oh, yeah. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for, like, an actual, like, yeah. thing from that Sonic. That's just Sonic being Sonic. a human. Yeah. Or trying to be a human. But the Mario movie, it just gets, it gets down to business. And then you immediately go into this world. I think that's awesome as a Mario movie. Which is, like, the main thing I see everybody say. I don't know how I feel about this as a regular movie, but as a Mari movie, this this was pretty this was pretty cool. If they just gave us like a little more time, not even like oh man, just extend this scene, just more so like extend the runtime by like five minutes and just maybe spend like a, a little longer with like Mari and Luigi in Brooklyn or uh, Mari and Luigi just together because they're not together for the vast majority of this movie. Yeah, the second they go in, they split up at the pipe and they're gone till yeah. basically the end. For me, I don't know, the pace seemed good for me because every time I thought I was maybe getting bored on a storyline, it's like on to the next thing, on to the next boss. And the ending, it's just like, we're talking spoilers, right? Yeah, I don't give a, yeah. I don't give a damn, dude. Yeah, <laughs> Bowser and Peach have their little fight and then it goes into the real world and then they have this fight with a star. It's just like, Nothing overstayed its welcome, in my opinion. I don't really think it needed to be extended. It, it's rare a kids' movie like that can keep your attention, and I thought it did. So yeah, I think I think you could extend it, but it also runs the risk of becoming like bloated, where it's like, okay, this is kind of dragging now. But it could also work in the favor of what you're saying, where it's like it builds the world up more and it can be also. But it probably felt fast to us because we know a lot of the stuff, and they're just feeding you those nostalgia bites the whole time, and you just oh like, yeah, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god. The music is constantly just changed, like every ten. Oh seconds, my god, the music is like, a reference too. Like every yeah. music track is a reference in the thing. You're the music just, is the medley that constantly just loops on like different. Boom, this is one. Boom. So, this is so I will say, so crazy. the music, the the score is awesome as like a fan of of you know mario like any chance they get to reference something they will 
and they don't go overboard. It's not like this is just Easter egg the movie. It's yeah. more so like Mario doesn't look at the camera and be like, hey, look, it's this. <laughs> yeah. They had some deep cuts, not necessarily like, oh man, that's a reference to uh, Mario teaches typing, but more <laughs> so like like when they are getting their carts built, the 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 score is the Mario Kart 8 like menu theme, mm-hmm. which is awesome. It's not even just the Mario Kart 8 theme. It's the specifically the menu theme. I was I thought that was that awesome. One, yeah, the that was cycle through the cart options like an eight too. Like that was one of the coolest and, parts. Yeah. yeah. If you played Mario Kart 8, cool. you know that it goes cart, wheel, and then yeah. glider, and that's how they were customizing their cart. I'm like that yeah. was cool. Mm-hmm. And I, I think it's really cool because they do they they contextualize a lot of these references in ways that make sense in this world like you don't think about these things when you're playing the game but in the world like when they're trying to extend this world past like a a title screen in a in a video game menu and all that they have to try and like explain how power-ups work um they they pretty much explain it in just one sentence and the way they just show it working in like an, an animated film because in a video game, you can just, you know, oh, power up hits Mario, he turns into big. <laughs> like, this way, the, the way they contextualize everything like that, and, you know, customizing your cart and all of that stuff, I thought was really well done visually. Um, which is kind of like what this movie does best, is like the visual and audio sense. But there's one thing that I see, like, all these critics, like, like sh** on, music-wise, and it's the license tracks. That's my big gripe. Damn. Yeah, that's the big I one. I didn't think they were that no, bad. Okay. It's just like... Pick the top five songs you hear in movies most. It's yeah. Mr. Blue Sky, Thunderstruck by ACDC, um, Take On Me by AHA. Yeah. It's just like, where's... I need to hear... I was waiting really... for House of the Rising Sun next. I mean, it's it's those trailer yeah. songs. The music choices are really basic, though. I, I do think they worked. They weren't like... Yeah, they were uh, enough. Yeah, I didn't groan. It, it was always a little kind of like... I, I will say, like, a couple <clears throat> times the songs were used felt a little kind of like... You didn't have to do that. Yeah. They show up to the the jungle kingdom, the, you know, the, the the Kong's world, and uh, they get on, you know, like a uh, this, this monkey with a sports <laughs> coat's uh, uh, cart, which not you funky. think is I Funky gotta, Kong. Not funky I got Kong. some theories about more tie ins. That ain't that's Funky, that's funky Kong. I guarantee man. there will be other people that share the opinion that that was potentially a Funky Kong if, reference. If no. they could have made that Funky so Kong, they would have made him Funky yeah. Kong. It probably would have been some big reveal where, like, some monkey turns around and you realize it's Funky Kong with a bandana. <laughs> no, that's because for the he's sequel. A, <laughs> he's a fan favorite, but. Did I didn't think like about what the Kong sequel. It's like okay. Yeah, like, Funky Kong is gonna he's be the, gonna be, he's the main, now. the main guy in the sequel. <laughs> it's just a um, Funky Kong movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they they play like Take on Me during that section. I'm kind of like, like okay. Yeah, you, you can know, use yeah. like Donkey Kong music or something there. You can. It, use... It's not like it doesn't work, but it's yeah. just kind of like okay. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it was fine. It, it was something I could do without, but I, I wouldn't say it like ruined the movie or broke it or anything. Yeah, I could, I'd, I could cut like one or two, but I, I like most of them for the most part. Yeah. In terms of like the, the Mar, like you got the licensed music, but then the Mario music, it's, it's cool. Like even in the final scene, like you can hear beats of the, cause in the climax, they take the star and they're fighting with the star. Then you hear the star jingle in yeah. the theme. But then it's some like orchestral version that actually works for the scene. Mm-hmm. But those little nods, like and you hear the star theme, that was sweet. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, Justin, what did you think of the music? Music loved it, man. I, I, you know, it was cool that it wasn't the same from the game. So you, you know, when you heard it, you're like, oh, it's gonna, is it gonna be? How different is it gonna be? You yeah. Know? And it wasn't, you know, it wasn't too different. <laughs> <laughs> it was good to listen. I was I bobbing you. my head the whole time. <laughs> yeah, um, I thought the I thought the the score was 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 great. It, it definitely made a lot of scenes even even more fun to watch. And that's kind of the main thing about this movie is that it was just it was just fun. Oh yeah, like that that was just the main thing. As a movie, like I already said, I don't I don't really think this is like a great movie on its own. Mm-hmm. You know, like like I feel like uh, if we were critically I'll- looking at it. If we were critically looking at it, if we were analyzing the plot, the characters, all that stuff, and see how it all if added you, together. If you mm-hmm. replace Mario, like all the Mario references with just like new bland, like you don't know what it is, I think, yeah, it would lose points for sure. That is Big definitely points. the worst part of it. I mean, if you don't know Mario, you don't know all the stories with like, I mean, they didn't really explain who Bowser was or Peach was. They just yeah. know everyone knows that yeah. already. He's the King Koopa. He's bad. But, like, that's such a crazy what if. Like, what if there are different characters? You, you, you can't. It is, but... We know the characters. They're iconic. Yeah. 
Which this is generally like the movie follows the general plot of most Mario games. Yeah. Outside of the fact that they do kind of like a bit of a flip with Luigi being the one being captured, I feel like the movie would have been pretty boring if it was just Peach getting captured. I feel like Peach was probably more vital to this movie than Mario. I felt like that was kind of a weird little plot. Why did Peach yeah. bring Mario along if she was so capable? It had that happened so quick. Yeah, Mario just ran up to Peach and well, she, just, and like, she was like, "Oh, you're another oh, human. Come with me." That was, well, was exposition like, you know, overload. When they were talking to each other in the castle, it's just like, you know, you know, uh, Bowser and this spoon feds. <laughs> yeah, that part was super quick. Like they met, they're mean with each other, friendly. Bam, yeah. they're partners. Yeah, well, it was a little training montage, but yeah, mostly yeah, it just but it, but it's like, also it, it was just weird because like Peach was training Mario to, to do these things, you know, get the power ups and and go through this obstacle course, you know, this Mario Maker esque looking obstacle course. And Peach was kind of like, oh, yeah, I did this on my first try. So it's just like, well, then why do you need Mario? You're doing all this pretty well yourself. And there's also the rescuing Luigi thing. Like, that was kind of lead in. It wasn't like, I need you to do this. It was like, your brother is whatever with him. So I feel like they probably could have elaborated on that, like, for another, like, and I'm not even saying elaborate. Like, like, Jeff, I feel like when I say, like, elaborate on it, you're thinking, like, oh, man, extend this scene by 10 minutes and just, like, linger on this thing. I, I mean, like, a line, a single line that kind of explains why. I just why. think we're on different pages with the pacing. I mean, I thought that was, like, one of the best parts about it was how quick it was, and I know you maybe five minutes longer well, extend some scenes, but as a movie, like, you're saying as a movie it's not good, like, plot-wise, but it's like, yeah, the story's whatever, but, like, you gotta think of the, the audience here. It's not people our age, it's kids... And if we think All it's right. good, they probably think Dude, it's amazing. Was, the audience loved it. They, oh, they yeah. Those that kids movie got were the going crazy. Yeah, oh, man. Right. I, 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 heard audibly, loud at the end of the movie. I audibly kind of like laughed at a couple of references oh, yeah. that I saw. And I was just like, oh, that's, yeah, the that's other really thing. There cool. were some legitimate laughs. Like, yeah, that's the issue with the Sonic movie or, or movies like that, where a lot of the jokes will just bring it down. But in this one, there's a lot of good slapstick. And I was laughing at parts like Bowser uh, flames one of the Koopas below and he turns into a dry bone. It's like. Good. That's just stupid, yeah. but it made me laugh. Jack Black as Bowser, I think, did a lot of good. He was great. He was mm-hmm. great for sure. He might be my favorite character. Yeah, good casting because the singing yeah. that worked. Yeah, his songs were great. Mm-hmm. I will say, yeah. So, so Bowser sung a, a song. I felt like that song could have, like, it, like I don't, I, I kind of forget it already. So, like, I feel like that yeah. song could have been. A I feel like that was a huge a hit with the crowd. Yeah, they were, they were love it. it. Yeah. All he does is like peaches, 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 and <laughs> it's obviously a joke. Song. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel I like they had it. the potential to make like a, a, a billboard, like a top, ten, <laughs> like no, dude, like like I, you're not, yeah, they could have, they could have, <laughs> but like it's like a thirty second long fine. song. Yeah, uh, so I, do it again, kind I of think in the post credits. I, I kind of was a fan of the idea of him being super in love. And yeah, oh, I was too. I, I, think I thought it was, was great. Oh, because like yeah, like an, another thing I really love about this movie is how it takes from all the history of Mario. It's not just Mario 1 and 3 and that's it. Because that that that's kind of something that was really lame about the Sonic movies. Is how, like, they really kind of only focus on the Genesis games for some... For yeah. Just, like, really. And a couple references here and there. Uh, especially with the music. Where the Mario movie, you know, like... You get up to Odyssey. You get the Bowser in his little white... Yeah, top hat. yeah, he had the was, white yeah, top cool. hat, and he he also was like, "I'm gonna marry Peach," and that yep. was the plot line of Odyssey. Yep. There's even like Odyssey music. They go through like Toast Arena from yep. that game. Yep. Uh, they go through game. like uh, like a new Super Mario Brothers U. Like, uh... <laughs> yikes! I must have missed all these. I'm not. It, it was <laughs> like I'm not super good on it was the like non cart games. So <laughs> <laughs> you just said I'm a long time fan <laughs> of Mario. I, know, I, I feel like I know a lot of the characters and the items and some of the locations, but like. Okay, the star, the blue star, that's not Rosalina's, like... Hey, what's that the was lore a... connection with the oh. star? Alright, right, right. So, there's another character that was revealed in, like, the final trailer that blue Luma, and it is a Luma, like, they... Yep. they not only is it designed like a Luma, but at the very end, there's a sound effect that is a Luma sound effect uh, at the very end. Um, yeah, that's a Luma. Um, well, I, I assume maybe in, like, the sequel potential sequel um they're going to expand upon a couple things because a couple of things are just kind of like they're just like all right that's how because remember peach's backstory i took the words out of my mouth i was gonna say that earlier that's why i think uh that's true there was why they were just quick with her beating the obstacle course it's just like they're definitely opening up the book for 
she's the only other human that's come through the pipes. We're gonna hear about her story. That that fucking Luma like served no purpose. I assumed it was gonna like serve a purpose at some point. Yeah. No, you cut that character. It's the same goddamn it's movie. It's funny. I I like the I character. Fine, yeah. I, I'm I, like I'm fine if it's funny, but it's also like there's no point like. This this character the movie's short enough. It needs more. It that's a dark. More. That's a dark part in that prisoner section. They need those laughs. Like yeah. But however, biggest, however, anyways. I am saying what I am saying is they could have just had just a single little moment at the very end where like the Luma helps Luigi with something or or whatever. You know, like just just give that character more of a reason to exist because that character has no purpose in this I movie. Disagree. Disagree. I disagree. I disagree. That character well, purpose is, is supposed to be have. funny. Yeah, and it's in the prison the section. The King Boo doesn't have a damn line in the movie. <laughs> they show King Boo in the movie. It was pretty that funny. Was, yeah, I, I was a little upset. Uh, King Bomb got King, King Bob Bomb got his little yeah, spot. That was messed up. I, <laughs> he died. I died. I, I just yeah, that was kind of screwed. Up. I disagree though. I think uh, wait in canon does King Bob Bomb is he able to blow up and like he's all right? I don't really think you really saw that. I mean, he is a bob bomb, so... Like, I, are, is that, like, that's... one and done? Or are they... I, I think so. But... I mean, you literally saw a Koopa get his skin burned off. So, <laughs> I don't really... We don't have to think that deep about it. But, with the star, I disagree. I think the character was good, funny, got some laughs. But, it was it was its role, it was a prisoner that was just, like, really negative? Or, like, a guard? It was a prisoner. Yeah, it was a prisoner. That was just yeah, like was just happened, to, uh, happened yeah. to be happy. They were there. just like, just kill me already, basically. Like that was basically their role. I don't think yeah. we needed the arc yet because you said like I'm not asking for an arc. I'm just saying for like one moment, little bit at the end. Like, I'm asking for one moment. I, I, listen, and I'm not asking <laughs> like I'm not begging, pleading on my knees, just like oh please. Uh, it's more so like like I think it just would have tied everything. Like I'm I'm talking about things that just would tie things together a little neater because like that loom. Justin, <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> well, what, yeah. what is that? What is that gonna tie well, together, man? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a little a blue star in a cage. Just, just make that that character more like less pointless. The I think it, I think here. I think it filled I think it filled the role it needed to fill. That's a very relief. small loose end to tie up. Like. Jokes yeah. here and there. The <laughs> reason need to tie up in the, in the dungeon. <laughs> no, I'm I'm mainly saying because like this character was like. This character was in like marketing material. He, it it oh, was a okay. McDonald's toy and all this. I was just assuming it was gonna play a bigger role, and I feel like just they, toy sales, baby. They could have done a little something where like just he the, like the Luma does something. It wanted to die. It's not gonna help. Yeah, but maybe <laughs> it wanting it to, to die, die. Maybe it wanting to die could have like helped the brothers in some way in their final fight with Bowser. I, I don't know. Just like I one disagree. little I disagree. I I think the star was perfect. <laughs> I got no gripes. I think we can't we can't give each character three hours of backstory and a full arc like <laughs> oh, I said a single thing. <laughs> let's, an hour and a half. let's do a screen time count with each character. That one got a lot of screen time. It did. I think it deserves a roster on the toys for More the McDonald's than, like it did have a lot going well, for Well when you have that much did. screen time I'm just asking for like some plot relevance. Laughs Yeah. I was joking. I was There laughing. was enough laughs in the movie, man. So like it was just a different know. vibe for the prisoners. It was a different vibe. It's kind of. I'm like, gonna drop out. I'm gonna just say it. I, I think disagree. It's fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. <laughs> All right, whatever. I think you could have tried. I'm not saying I didn't dislike. <laughs> I'm not saying I didn't like the character. I'm just saying they could have added something there. They could have, but it wasn't necessary. I think it's fine as is. But overall, so so Justin, what what would you say? Favorite thing about the movie? Least favorite thing about the movie? Favorite thing about the movie? I would just say the animation, man. It was fun to look at. Least favorite thing? Um, that damn Luma, man. <laughs> it no. served no point. No, 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 no. <laughs> Least favorite thing I would say is probably how quick it was. Like, like an extra like five minutes just to like fill in, to, like tie a couple loose ends. Not made, not with the Luma, but with like a couple other things. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I like, yeah, the the Peach backstory just kind of felt like they had the potential to give like Peach like like an insecurity or something there, like like a character thing that she could overcome later in the movie. That she's um, kind of just a badass. Did Peach have yeah. any flaws? It's a setup, really. I think. Probably. It's a setup for the sequel. Yeah. Granted, that's not a good excuse. Yeah. Maybe one little element to Peach. Yeah, but I feel like they could have, like, expanded upon that a little bit. And when I say expand upon, Jeff, I'm not talking three hours and, and, and a <laughs> sequel series. I'm saying, like, a spin just, like, TV series. <laughs> just something, yeah. It wouldn't surprise me if that just, starts just, existing <laughs> with these characters. Just tweaking a, a couple little, like, lines. Because, like, even then, I, it, it has to be sequel baiting. Because even then, Mario is like, oh, well, you might be from my world. And Peach is kind of like, hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of universes out there, and then that's that's the end a of little that. seed planted, and then they're that gonna be, yep, some galaxy. And typically, stuff I don't like sequel baiting, but that was good and quick, and 
and I liked it so much, I'd be down. I, I don't care that yeah, they I don't think it that ruined so. the movie. I think it was enough. And to, to be keep like... it quick, you, you got to touch on stuff. You got to hint at it. You know, you don't have to spoon feed it. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like they could have just expanded upon a couple things while also setting up for a sequel because this just kind of feels like oh you set up something and then okay and then what the sequel is going to fix that i feel like as a standalone experience there's it kind of leaves a couple doors open that don't necessarily feel like you're leaving doors open for a sequel it just kind of feels like oh well nothing came of that okay a lot of the reviews of this movie are, are very much like oh man the plot's paper thin there's nothing to it and then a lot of people are responding like what are you expecting it's mario and i agree but i also think this movie could have expanded upon a couple things and tweaked some lines of dialogue to make it a little more than just oh it's just a mario movie like they could have they, they could have elaborated on a couple things and they could have done a things a little bit smarter to kind of make it not only a good mario movie but a pretty good movie on its own and uh, I feel like they just kind of went just hog wild and they just went like, nah, it's just, we're making a Mario movie. We don't care. Yeah, I think mm. most of it was just shoving as many like neat little references in, fun music yeah. tracks, different like cool animation scenes in as possible, which mm. I think works in a way. Yeah, I think it makes it like a fun watch. It's something that I'd be down to rewatch it. I'd be down to just like watch it multiple times and throw it on in the background, which is exactly what they wanted to do. They wanted this to be like a, a mega hit kids movie. And I think I it will think, be. I think it's going to, yeah, I think, it'll be, I think it will be. Oh, that theater was it would yeah. probably be one of the biggest movies of the year. But that just makes me want because like everybody knows Mario. Pretty much everybody our age has grown up with a Mario thing, even if it was just for like a little bit. Like everybody's played a Mario game at some point. So everybody kind of has a connection with this movie already. But a lot of the critic reviews are kind of like, I didn't get it. What <laughs> what was going on here? Like, how do you think this is for somebody who is not a Mario fan? That's I think one of the biggest issues with it, because like they don't even even need to set up any of like the pipes. We already know how they work. The Princess Peach Castle, we already know it's an iconic location. The Koopas, we know they work for Bowser. Like all that little stuff that we don't even think about. From like a newcomer's perspective, he'd probably be like, Oh my god, they're eating mushrooms <laughs> and that he just grows, that makes no sense, that's dumb. Yeah. But then we know that's like, oh, that's cool, you know. It helps. This is a super rare example. I don't know if many movies have had this many people this knowledgeable on the stuff before going in. Yeah, it's that's gonna lead kind of weird, people yeah. and critics to be super divisive. Yeah, because I th I think they just kind of know like everybody knows what a mushroom does in Mario, or at least everybody who's going to see this movie knows that. Uh, outside of the critics who gave it a bad review, kind of thing. <laughs> Um, but like those critics already seem like really out of touch and anybody older than me, they don't know Mario. It's just like Mario's 40 years old. Yeah. yeah. Like it, it's almost <clears throat> like, would they be asking this about like, if, if like a Mickey mouse movie came out <laughs> and they'd be like, I he has a dog and his friends a dog too. <laughs> I don't get that. I think kids know? get Mario more, more nowadays than they do Mickey mouse. Honestly. Yeah, exactly. And, and that, that's, that's what's just really weird about like the build up to this movie. Like I've seen like interviews with like the the voice the 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 actors and all that and and like they're they're going up to like chris pratt and they're just going like man this movie made me so nostalgic i i remember playing mario in the 80s and now this was awesome and i'm just kind of like a lot of things like that act like mario began and ended in like 1985 and that was it. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like, dude, like super Mario. steady franchise yeah. with huge numbers and sales. <laughs> oh, like. they keep growing. And like Mario Kart 8 is like, has like 60 million sold. Yeah. yeah. And it's just I mean, like, I get if it's like the one you played like as a kid or whatever. And you kind of nostalgic for that. But, but like you, you've gone into a target, right? You see Mario <laughs> yeah. stuff. There. It's not like, yeah, it's not like a, a forgotten franchise at this point. Like, I think the general role with like, cause I don't like super following what critics say about movies. Like, you can follow up for most movies, but when it comes to kids, like, who cares what the critics say because they're not the intended audience. Like, yeah. making a movie for a kid is such a different task than making it for, like, a normal audience. So, Jeff, I I want to bring up something here. Mm -hmm. Hit me with you, it. you said something a little different when talking about the Sonic movie. You're you kind of like, I, I, I kept telling you that. Oh, I think there's a huge art to making a kid's movie. I think it's harder than probably any other kind of movie. I, I, I told you the Sonic movie, it's a good movie, like it's a good kids movie, and you're like, kids deserve better. You're right like, or not. <laughs> <laughs> kids deserve better. No, I've always thought like like the reason I, I ride so hard for Pixar movies is because they can be enjoyed by any age. Like you can go in our age, older, younger, and everyone's gonna enjoy it. The ref there's references for adults, references for kids. And that's what makes them so good. Sonic movie is just like bad jokes. 
and just like really boring plot. I don't. I, you give the Sonic movie way too much praise. I mean, it's not bad. I'm not praising it's, it. There's a lot worse. I think this is better. I there's a lot better. worse video oh, game it's, movies. It's and there's a lot worse animated sure. movies. But this is like night and day difference. How much I, I better will this say, was. I will say the Sonic movies. Sonic the the Sonic One is better from like a plot perspective as like a general movie. Sonic has like a character <laughs> there, and there's a plot, and I feel like most moviegoers can go into that and be like, "Boom, I get this." Yeah, he Mario, more, I guess. Mario is not really that, but I think it's gonna do exponentially better just because it's Mario. Everybody knows Mario. Yeah, and a, anybody who doesn't know Mario, I'm just gonna throw it out there. They're fucking weirdos. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm not saying like a Mario fan. I'm just saying like, yeah. oh Mario, yeah, you go into the mushroom, you get big, uh, you stomp on the turtles. Yeah. All right, I know Mario I like think, that. I think as long as you have a general understanding of Mario, you'll enjoy the I, movie. I think not even like, that much, not even that high of a level of understanding. You just yeah, need no. a baseline understanding of Mario to really yeah. kind of get it and understand it. Scott, what you were saying earlier about the Sonic movie only referencing like the early stuff, I think that's the issue with Sonic and Mario, like. Sonic, most people have only played the beginning games. Like, not everyone's played... That's true. ...3D or Sonic R or all kind of the crappy later ones. Mario's had such a, a solid series where, like, a ton of generations. People play the 80s game. People play the 90s games. People play the new Switch games. Like, the, you can do so many more references because so many people know way more stuff yeah. about Mario than, you know, everyone just knows, you know, the classic... Uh, Sonic's, you know. Yeah, I think it's it's strange to think how Sonic, I think, has a more accessible plot, but Mario, I think, is more accessible to like as to everybody just because Mario is Mario. Oh, everybody yeah, knows yeah. Mario, so you don't really need that plot. Which is, it's just like this this movie is just really weird to talk about, and because of that, because like as as a Mario film, I think it's great. I think I'd give it like a nine out of ten for a Mario movie. I think as a regular movie, probably like a six. You know. Like, I, I think it has some fun visuals, uh, some fun lines, but it, it, I, I feel like a lot of the jokes hit because they're coming out of these characters, mm -hmm. and, like, these characters are doing these things. Some of the jokes are just like, hey, look at that, haha. Yeah, they're singing the DK rap, isn't that funny? Yeah, where, where it's a little more like, <laughs> That's oh, probably man. the deepest reference. <laughs> There's a couple fun. That, deep that was one of the parts to laugh out loud for yeah. me. When the DK, like, I did not expect the DK <laughs> rap. There's a lot of references in the Donkey Kong section. Oh, Donkey yeah. Kong had the rocket barrel from Donkey Kong Country Returns, mm -hmm. and Diddy Kong had the Donkey Kong bongo, the Donkey Konga bongos. <laughs> oh, um, I didn't see that. Notice that. <laughs> yeah, and just like a couple little random things, like even even like uh, when Donkey Kong like got defeated by Mario, uh, they played the little like Donkey Kong arcade jingle. Or something. I don't know if I played that. Dun 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 dun. dun oh, or something it. like that. Yeah, um, yeah I want to get into the lore references because I got a couple <laughs> questions. The one of the biggest ones for me was: Is it canon that Baby Mario and Baby Luigi are actually the baby versions of them? Yeah. I kind of thought it was not was like funny. a father son yeah. thing, but like yeah. they just <laughs> that was that was funny. They that, that was individually cool. from <laughs> each yeah, other. Yeah, they did. They did little <laughs> flashbacks to Mario, Luigi, and, and later Peach as and baby babies. Peach, yeah, like. and they showed them as babies. Justin, you haven't been talking for a while. I want to <laughs> open up the floor to you. What? So, what? so how how was watching this movie under the influence? It was good, man. The visuals were amazing. And then our character. Oh wait, and then the audio was good too. I liked a lot of <laughs> a lot of the sounds. I, there was there was one sound that I liked, man. I'm and I'm and I'm annoyed I can't remember. Sing it to me. Sing the sound. I can't remember. I wish I could, dude. Cause... Did it go like dun? No, I no. It was dun. a sound. There was a sound effect in the movie, and I was like, and when it happened, I was like, damn, I can't wait to talk about this later, and I just can't remember what it is. The I'm so annoyed. Effect. The star had a cool. There was some cool sound effects. The rainbow, like the way they're. Uh, racing on the rainbow sounded like the kind of glistening sound when they do in a Mario Kart. Was there a Rainbow Road song playing? Yep. I couldn't, I couldn't yep. tell. It was they, a slight uh, like, alteration. Mario does like a little shortcut on Rainbow Road that yeah. I felt like was kind that of a reference cool. to 64. Yeah. Uh, and, and like there's so many just like Nintendo references. Mario's playing Kid Icarus in the game, <laughs> in, in, in the movie. Yeah. Which is just like out of, out of all the Nintendo games so you're going to be playing, like that's just that's just interesting. The posters behind him in that room weren't those some like NES games? Um, I, I tried or looking not? I at them. Was like tennis. I felt like, <sighs> yeah. I mean, like I, I looked at them. Marathon I, was one. I looked at them a couple times, and I, I wanted to try and see. I I potentially saw like some old Nintendo toy memorabilia as the posters, like uh, 
like i don't know or at least like the art reminded me of like some of those old toys but i could be completely wrong on that i'd have to rewatch the movie but they had a lot of like other nintendo references like the the guy from balloon fight was like a mascot for like a car wash thing in, in brooklyn all this stuff that just made this movie like really fun to rewatch. but again it's, it's as a nintendo fan for something like justin i mean like did, did you yes. notice any little references i mean yeah I, I mean i know who mario is i know luigi <laughs> i know i know the little mushroom head guys and then and then the monkeys man you know Don, donkey kong donkey kong games yeah, yeah. seth rogan he does the seth rogan he does laugh. the seth rogan laugh one point yeah that yeah. was mario, intentional uh, for the meme i got it i think wonder who decided added, that seth rogan or the studio there's a like, scene where yeah. like everything stops and it's just on donkey kong's face and he does the seth rogan laugh <laughs> that's just to be clipped and used on twitter i just feel like i wonder whose decision that was seth rogan's or like <laughs> the studios it's like who decided it's meta. they know why they had that in there i feel like with donkey kong I, I i saw like a report that they were already in early talks to do like a donkey kong spinoff film wow. that really feels like that or just the way they did his character it really does feel like yeah. uh they showed the world a bit too like yeah kong country which um yeah, what did you think about them focusing on on the Donkey Kong stuff? So I mean, I mean, like I, I feel like some stuff like uh, like that's how they get the carts was a little strange. It was a little yeah. on the nose, or it's just like it how just, we getting from point A to B? Let's do Mario Kart's. Like, it, yeah, it, it wasn't. It was. Yeah, well, it, little, felt, it felt weird that they got the carts from the Kongs. Mm -hmm. You know, like it, it feels that's like they could have yeah. done something else there, but I feel like they wanted. You know, they wanted to incorporate Donkey Kong, and they were like, hey, we want to incorporate Mario Kart as well, so let's make the Kongs, like, this super advanced species, though they, you know, they're, they're monkeys. That's probably a place where you could extend the movie a bit, because they kind of just went from, here you go, here's your army, now go. I really I like that idea there. in the movie with the islands. It's like Koopa Army, Penguin Army, Kong Army. <laughs> I just thought that was a dope-ass idea. Yeah. I, I will Game say... Of <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I will say... The first 30 minutes of the movie feel like pretty much all the trailers stitched together. Yeah, the first two like, the first two trailers are like back to back, like the start of the movie. Literally. It's literally the start of the movie <laughs> is the first trailer, yeah. and that's it. Yep. But the, also, like, I feel like um, the original trailer music for that felt better than than the music they went with. They went with oh. like the Kill Bill song. Like oh. when the penguins appear. That's another one of those like overly used songs. That's well, it, it only it's only there for like ten seconds. So yeah, I just kind of feel like quick. that just that just feels like a YouTube edit or something that that <laughs> that, that, that some ten year old would do. It's just fight. like, oh, this is epic. I'm gonna put this music here. You know, like it. Uh, some of that felt a little a little strange. But the movie the movie pretty much goes the exact way. I, like so many people were expecting, where Bowser goes like, who's gonna stop me? And then it goes to like the the mario plumbing commercial and then pretty much five minutes later they're going into the mushroom kingdom and then uh a lot of scenes that you see in the trailer those are just the scenes yeah like that's it i don't mind i my general rule is like trailers these days like i feel like every year trailers have way more spoilers in them and like i'm almost done just watching trailers for movies because of that but i like when uh trailers would be like only taken from the first couple minutes yeah. of the movie you know, it gives light, you a taste. Stuff. Yeah, it yeah. sets you up and it just doesn't spoil. So I actually yeah. didn't mind that. I prefer, yeah, I just the way I should have done, which wasn't so much of it. Like the first 15 minutes or like 10 minutes. Of I trailer. mean, the, la mm -hmm. the last act of the act of the movie, I, I didn't see pretty much any of that. No, yeah, there's just really. too many potential spoilers. Like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> spoilers for Mario. I mean, like, it's. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but it's just a general rule. You don't want like third act stuff in a yeah. trailer at yeah. all. Yeah. So, overall, I mean, what would you want to see from, like, a sequel, potentially? I mean, where do you go from here? I think I think Peach's backstory makes sense. Getting Rosaline involved, possibly, doing something like that makes the most sense. But, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, a lot of ways with it. There was a mid-credits and post-credits scene. Yeah. I heard the post-credits scene was hype. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, all they showed was I, a Yoshi I egg. Was, okay, okay, so the post-credits <laughs> scene is a Yoshi egg In Brooklyn, cracking, right? and then you hear the Yoshi sound. Yeah. It's an egg in Brooklyn. Like, the egg wasn't obvious enough. They had to add the little chirp yeah. in there. <laughs> it was fine, but it's like, duh, they're going to add Yoshi. It's just like, yeah. Knuckle, well, it's also like Knuckles already... in the teaser for Sonic 1. It's just like, yeah, we know a sequel's coming. Yeah, we know Yoshi's here. He's the fourth biggest character. <laughs> but they are they already showed, like, Yoshi's Island in they this They did show movie, a bit of Yoshi already, yeah. Which I, I felt was kind of like, why show that if this is your big teaser at the yeah. end? It just kind of felt like a little kind of like yeah. It didn't hit as hard as I think it would have if it didn't if they didn't show Yoshi's at all. Yeah, because like 
they they have this big montage and they, they could have cut the yoshi scene too easily it was like two seconds yeah it was two seconds and it was just a part of a bigger montage yeah. of them going through all these worlds yeah and i'm just like you didn't like why show the yoshis if yeah. this is your big that's all they showed up for too that was the one thing they yeah had, so i agree with that yeah but i think they could have cut I, I feel like i i feel like they could expand upon this with a bunch of like like even like little short films or like a little a little series or something there or, was no wario or waluigi yeah, that would have been a funny little in the sequel. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that. oh, that, that that's a third. That's a third. That's movie a third. Thing. Like ended third. off with those two as like dual yeah. villains. That's the new villain. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's that's just the thing. This movie had so many references, but they just kind of scratched the surface. I mean, you can go into like the like all these random little spinoffs. All you can go into Paper Mario. Sh yeah, so you go to Mario you. Party. Talk about a catalog of stories to take from all the games plots. Yeah. yeah. Bits and pieces. Yeah. I, I, for the next couple of movies, I want to see them do like, for this movie, it was a Mario plot, but then they had a Mario Kart section. Okay, we've done Mario Kart. Next one, maybe do a Galaxy section. Maybe the next one, do like a Mario Party reference. Yeah. I don't know. Something like, like a that. A sunshine moment or something. Yeah, a yeah. sunshine moment. Yeah. Like, part of the I could middle act like sunshine. Yeah. Yeah. I could imagine them doing like these. Sunshine. I could imagine them doing like cute little, like, whatever, like, maybe like a short against like the next illumination movie and it, it would be like a mario party short or something, something. like, like that, they yeah. let's have a party and it's like a mario party reference the entire <laughs> thing or something i think that would be really cool um but overall i mean like how do you think this compares to the other illumination efforts because i haven't seen a ton of illumination Jeez. films yeah i remember seeing the first despicable me and i saw hop on netflix <laughs> i think they that's Illumination. Yeah. yeah. I think they get a lot of heat. Um, I think they've s stepped up their game a lot. I don't watch all theirs like I do Pixar, but visually, like, they're up there. In they have a different look than Pixar, and it's really good, I think. The stories are just always whatever compared to Pixar. What are the, what are the big three? You got Illumination, Pixar... DreamWorks, Blue, Blue Sky, not nah, Blue Sky. Blue Sky's like out. down here. <laughs> well, Blue Sky is pretty much done. Like um, uh, that was like a Fox Animation Studio, and they got bought by Disney, and they are closed. So I guess much. it's Dreamworks, DreamWorks, Pixar, Pixar, and Illumination. Yeah, I don't know. I think Illumination stepped up their game. I think they've stepped up for sure. Yeah, I, I think I think they stepped up their game. But like th their their thing has always been, we're gonna make m animated movies on a slightly lower budget and we're gonna put most of our money into marketing because that, yeah. that's their main thing and uh yeah this movie's marketing has been like all over the place they're they're doing all kinds of stuff with it but i didn't feel any like lower budget with this movie oh yeah i thought the visuals were high budget yeah, I, yeah I felt, it felt fantastic animation wise beautiful soundtrack was was great the licensed songs i could take them or leave them like they they didn't ruin they they didn't they didn't bring anything down for me i think i just would have appreciated like maybe better picks uh for the music even though i i felt like they fit fine enough but i, I think just they moved quick enough to make it not as like of a, a drag the writing i thought was was f fine like in terms of like character dialogue and all that it was fine the jokes weren't great but there wasn't many like setup and punchline jokes it was like yeah. just a lot of slapstick i thought that worked for mario i i think mm -hmm. i think that's the main thing i think the way this movie did things felt right for mario this mm -hmm. this this is why i'm like nine out of ten mario movie i don't know what could have made it a 10 out of 10 but i'm like eh, nothing's perfect <laughs> and the mario movie ain't perfect yeah as a regular movie i think it suffices but it also like it's obviously lacking in a lot of areas but uh yeah i, I think it's hard to kind of judge this movie as a as a regular movie when I got so much entertainment out of it. Yeah, very tough to rank as a as a normal movie. I put it pretty high with the normal movie. I think it's Damn, <laughs> it's very good wild. good Mario movie and good normal movie. It checks most boxes for me. Justin, <clears throat> what do you think, man? I think it's a <clears throat> I think it's a movie for a uh, movie for the N Nintendo boys. It's a Mario movie. But as a regular movie, it's 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 not a good one. What are you giving it out of 10? <laughs> um <laughs> Out of ten, yeah. For as a regular movie, just I in mean, general, it's, just combine them all in one ranking. I mean, it's there's one final ranking. No, only as a regular movie, it's like it's sub five, Ooh, sub five. Yikes. Yeah, it's just like, I'm, I mean, it's cool because like it's cool because it's a Nintendo movie and like it had like, it was cool because like you you were seeing references that like you 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 remembered, but from like, that's all that brings games. it up. Yeah, man. I, I think that's the only. I think that's the only. And then like the grab, but the graphics were cool too. I don't know, because like it just it happened so quick for like a normal movie. I don't know. I want I want to I want to. Did you know. laugh? 
Yeah, I laughed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Were you ever annoyed or uh, uh, bored? Were you shocked, surprised? What emotions did you feel throughout? Yeah. Um, did you feel happy? I was not really surprised by any of the movies. Yeah, there was no surprises. I was like, I was maybe just like some, some mild excitement from the animation, from the graphics. What about when Luigi's cage was dissolving in the lava? Were you nervous? I was wondering. <laughs> did if, you break a sweat? Well, I was wondering if when they when they pulled the cage up, if it was going to be like melted off, and it was. And I, was I like that. And I was yeah. happy about yeah, that. Yeah, that was yeah, a little, <laughs> that's cool little animation. Yeah. So it's sub five as a as a mar but but the overall experience for you. Oh, I mean, overall experience, mate. I was with the boys, so it's gonna be it's gonna and be a high influence. eight or nine. <laughs> we didn't talk. Yes, yeah, but I was I, uh, Scott. Okay. I sat right next to you, man. Yeah. It's, it's quality time with my friends. Like, yeah. You can't you can't you can't beat that anytime. No price on that. I could be watching some Barbie movie and I'd be having a great time with you that, guys. That movie is that looks nice. good though. The new Barbie movie. I knew there's a new one coming out. You, got, <laughs> you didn't know about that? No. Yeah. Oh, there's a huge Barbie movie yeah. dropping in a month or two. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got to do yeah. a bit on that. <laughs> Overall, I had a good time with it. It's really hard to like talk about this movie in, in like a, a critical sense because, I mean, like if we were being critical, we could tear it to shreds kind of thing. Yeah, we're super blinded by references and nostalgia. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But, but, but it's also like, it so fun. But I, I don't think it's like... Things don't work per se. It's just like things are just like it's just very shallow. Very shallow. That's the thing. I like that about it. Yeah, I don't think it needs to be more. Well, that's I, the I thing, think we're on different that, pages. I think I like it more than Mario you do. Mario movie. Perfect that's what Mario makes it a perfect Mario movie. Perfect Mario movie. Because I like it's like the dumb, that's what it's going the dumbness. For. It's just like Donkey Kong, fight him. Now he's your friend. Bam. Like yeah, and they still had a bit of a rivalry. It's quick. I, I, I thought point. the yeah, rivalry was kind of cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I just like how quick it was. It was no fluff. I remember the sound effect, man. <laughs> it was the it was the carts. The carts sounded so good. The pops from the carts. I was very impressed by that. <laughs> carts sounded go. amazing. There you go. Very nice. That's what it was. Does that bring it above a sub five? Um. Maybe a flat five now at least. Right? No. Yeah. It, get, it gets a five now because of the graphics and the sound. It's, you're at, you're what about at, that water, though? The water was crazy. It, it falls in the graphics. That was next level water. Maybe, maybe potentially. Did best. you see the movie? Did you see the water in Avatar? I thought yeah, that it was good. very good, but yeah, that's a good point. That was solid too. <laughs> and I think the story in Avatar was a little bit more fleshed out than. Did Mario. you finish Avatar? She, no. No. I was like, what? <laughs> we watched thirty minutes. Of that. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's a lot three of hours. <laughs> What, what was Avatar 2 about, Justin? <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> blue, blue guys versus the, versus the humans. What's Mario about? <laughs> humans versus the... There was no <laughs> humans yeah, in yeah, Avatar that's way more fleshed out. What's your 10 out of 10? A 10 out of 10? I, feels like you, I feel like you like the Sonic movie more. No. I give the Sonic movie a 6 out of 10 as a regular movie. Wow, they're the same scale? Same with the Yikes. Scale scale, really. You were dogging on the wow. Sonic movie. No, but I think it balances out. You know what? What? What Sonic lacks in terms of, uh, you know, uh, entertainment value, uh, Mario makes up for. But what Mario lacks in plot, Sonic makes up for. You're saying I don't think they equal out. They're the yin, the yin and the yang. I would saying. much rather watch I'm the saying, Mario movie than the Sonic I'm movie. I'm saying yeah, as a movie. I'm saying as a Mario fan, it's like a nine out of ten. I had a great time. You're saying with this the movie. Sonic movie and the Mario movie are within a half a point of each other. I don't. I think you're. Uh, no, they're they're exactly tied. But that's a whack take. No. I got as a movie. I'm looking really at it critically as a movie. I like how you look at it. As a Sonic, as 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 a Sonic movie, the Sonic movie is probably like a seven out of ten, seven point five. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, that. I got to question your taste. The Mario on what movie you is like a nine movie. out of ten. It's it's. It's a Mario movie, I'm getting man. thrown off all your scales. Yeah, I'm just saying, is it good? Yeah, you're yeah. confusing me now. <laughs> Sonic movie's okay. Mario movie's okay as a movie, too. <laughs> I think it's better, by far. As, as a Mar- I as think you're in the minority points. here As a with fun the movie, love. it's Either like a way. 9 out of 10. As a, as a fun movie, the Sonic movie's like a 7 out of 10. No. <laughs> <laughs> the Sonic movie is a 5. That's not that much worse. That's two points less. That's a lot. I give this out of a normal 10, 7.5. I was thinking 7.5 the whole time. Yep, that's yep. my score the whole time. Damn, Justin. I, out of 10. How do you feel about those scores? Uh, uh, <laughs> for a wait, you guys, are, you guys are scoring Mario or Sonic? We're Mario. So you're on Mario, just no hey, score Sonic, man. video game Total scale. Score, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic, I honestly want to rate it 6 or 7. I Did you even see that? I, have, I haven't <laughs> seen it, but oh, something about my. it just tells me that it might be a little bit more fleshed out compared to Mario. <laughs> 
I'm not. I'm not here for the references, man. I'm here for a good time. Then you don't go to Sonic. You're not gonna get one. I like this Look, movie. I haven't seen it, but I think it's gonna be better. <laughs> I liked. I liked Mario. I thought it was. I thought it was a fun time. Clearly not as much as us. It, it was fun because we knew what it was. <laughs> we knew. We knew about Mario. I could sit any little kid in front of that, even if they didn't know Mario. They'd probably. They'd oh, they probably love that. Oh, they probably want to play a Mario game right after that. Yeah, agreed. I, I feel like anybody above the age of like fifty. It's not for them. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Get out, old folk. I don't think I don't think they'd like be pissed off at the movie. I, I don't think. I just think they'd be kind of like what? Yeah, yeah, from an adult perspective, they'd be terrible. There's no. References or adult jokes at all? Like I can see that being a rough watch. I think some adults mm. were there that were having a good time. There were some hype people behind us. Yeah, yeah. I think some. Of the, I think the crowd in general was pretty. <laughs> I think they were dying on the Bowser piano scenes. Yeah, people like, love that for sure. Which I get. It's not that funny. <laughs> Jesus, what? Pick a lane, Jim. <laughs> you pick a lane. You've been so back and forth on whether you like nine, the movie. Seven, eight, you eight, started nine. off liking it near the end. I don't know if you like it that much. <laughs> I, I am looking at it critically as a film. As a film, it's not trying to be Citizen Kane. I know here. what you're saying, but it's. I, a I'm not saying it is. <laughs> it's not trying to be that. You're losing the crowd. You're losing the crowd. I'm not saying it's, it's trying to be Citizen Kane. I'm just saying, like, if because it's a film, the fact that we got so much enjoyment out of it and it's made for kids says a lot about it. I feel like that uh, raises the bar. It's made for kids, and we we liked it. Yeah, I think the general yeah. general audience is gonna eat it up. If we thought it had some depth, they probably kids probably thought it was super deep. Yeah. Okay, I agree. I agree with everything you're saying. I am just <laughs> saying, if we are looking at this as a movie, remove any Mario fan out of us. D d like we don't know Mario. That is what I'm talking about. Then it's a then it's a, a bad movie. I wouldn't say it's a bad movie. I don't I think just, you, if you replace every single aspect of the Mario franchise and just kind of like remove that fact from your head, yeah, I can see it being a lot lower for sure, but it's really hard to do that. Oh, like we would not get really no, any joy way, out of this yeah, movie. Yeah, it'd be like nothing. I don't it'd know. It'd be nothing. Jeff, nothing. no, think about it. Okay, I'm going to strip all the character names and the references. Two normal humans go into a magical world where they use power-up magical items where they can fight different you know different cults you got this race this cult? race this group <laughs> Man, you, i it's, agree there's something there it's just very bare the bones. obstacle course aspect the boss battle element of it yeah i'd be like what, what why why is he fighting what? this monkey why is this floating in the air <laughs> with all those elements i think you need to flesh it out more yeah true it wouldn't be as good obviously. exactly a, that's what i'm saying we, jeff yeah. yeah but all these what ifs <laughs> we're saying like a 30 what ifs it's like but it's not. It is yeah. a Mario movie, and it is good, and the plot's good. That is true. And I we will know give you all that. the references. It's like, yeah. you can only take the what if so far when it is what it is. Yeah, to be, I mean, for what they're making, what they're doing, I think it's, I think it's worth a higher well, score. Well, I, mm -hmm. I think it's really strange because you can kind of give anybody a regular Mario game, and they're going to get it. They don't need yeah. any, like, whatever. The Mario movie, I don't think, really has that, as in, like, oh, you can't really give this to a newcomer, and they're going to be like, oh, I mean, I think it's harder to do. Yeah, the learning yeah. curve is greater with the movie. So, than so the that's games. why I, yeah. yeah, I think that is why I say as a movie, like, yeah, like, yeah, I, I think it's a six out of ten. I think though, if it took its time and kind of explained them more, I think all of us would be sitting here like, oh, that kind of sucked. I think if it was like two hours and took more of its time to kind of explain everything. Yeah, true. Which is something like, I think was, was kind of cool about it, the fact that they're just kind of like, yeah, you know, hey, I think the they kind of bet the, on everyone knowing what Mario is. And yeah, what Mario hey, does. the blocks float. Yeah. yeah, there's the, no literal meaning for it. It's just like yeah. everyone knows what they are. Yeah, yeah. that's just that's I think just how it is. That router kind of explained it more, and everyone's like, okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah. I can see like an audience member coming in like Blue Shell Limbo <laughs> yeah. Road. What, what, what the, the hell? hell is going on? <laughs> yeah, but like I, I feel I like they... really love the Blue Shell thing. It's just like Koopas can just turn into a Blue Shell. Like that's no, that that, that one is specifically he is like a warrior with a Blue Shell, and he's like. Also, was the pretty much sacrificed himself. The level of the Koopas, of course, it was Bowser, and then it was Kamek. But was that next level of Koopa Soldier? Was that Paratroopa? He took it. He had glasses on a lot. He took him off. No, it that's, looked that's like Kamek. Him. I know. I just said Kamek. He's the one in the robes. Oh. I'm saying Paratroopa looked like the next level down. Probably, that's a rewatch, thing. man. I don't know. I'm just I mean... saying. Uh, I was trying to overly dive into the side characters and stuff. Did we talk about King Boo no dialogue? 
Yes, yeah, we mentioned we King did. Boo. Yeah, you were no di- dialogue. You were dying on King Bob. I'm walking <laughs> down the aisle. So good. <laughs> I was laughing. I'm like, I want him to be at my wedding. I was like, his little waddle. Yeah, that was that was something I was, was not great. expecting Just, that. So that I was, was like, that was a quick, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> goofy little character they showed it randomly. Yeah, I you know, this movie was lovely. I, I'm I'm. Was, like looking time. back, I'm just like this was a lovely movie. <laughs> I had a great time with it. Yeah, I don't think it's a great movie on its own, but like as a Mario movie, this was this was lovely. I think they did a great job. Good Mario. I'm movie. very happy with it. Mm-hmm. Solid, better yeah. than expected. Justin, any final thoughts? Um, you know, I'm just can't I can't wait to to get in the theater with all you guys again and just sit next to you guys. It was a pleasure. Man. <laughs> if you were watching this alone, how would that be? <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Wouldn't have done it. Even under the influence. I mean, maybe. 